Good day, folks. In today's video, I'm going to be unboxing the iPhone 11 Pro Max. This is the 512 gigabyte version. So let's just jump right in and get started. So I am a mobile content creator. All my YouTube videos are shot on an iPhone. When I started my YouTube channel, I was filming on an iPhone 6, and then I upgraded later on to an iPhone 8, and then I upgraded to the iPhone 10s Max, and that's what I've been filming on the last year. So for me, as a mobile content creator and a mobile editor, as I do edit all my videos for YouTube on my iPhone or my iPad, it makes sense to make sure I have the latest hardware. And uh, this year's camera seems really good, and I'm pretty excited to use it. So let's just jump right in and we'll unbox it. We'll get it set up and I'll kind of talk about some of the new features as we go here. So as you can see here on the back, this is the 512 gigabyte version. And this is space gray. Uh, I wasn't quite sure what color to go with this year. The midnight green actually seemed really nice. I've always gone with space gray. The only iPhone that I've had that wasn't space gray was the iPhone 6. And uh, I went with the silver one for that. And that was more just because that's all that was available at the time when I was purchasing it. But you can never go wrong with Space Gray. I picked this up this morning at the Apple Store. I pre-ordered it last Friday when pre-orders opened. And uh, when I got there this morning, the lineup wasn't too bad for people who had pre-ordered. I think there was only two or three people in line. Um, however, they did have a lineup for people who uh, had just reserved them or didn't have a reservation and there was probably at least 100 people in lineup. So I'm glad I didn't have to stick around in the lineup too long. I think I was in and out of there in actually about 10 minutes, so that wasn't too bad. Apple always makes their cellophane nice and easy to come off. So there we go there. Now I'm not quite sure, sometimes my memory doesn't always uh, function the way I would like it to, but I think this is the first time they've had it placed in the box upside down. Usually it's a screen facing out, but you can see here they have the cameras facing upwards. So that's actually kind of interesting that they've gone ahead and done that. So let's uh, take the phone out here, and I'm just going to set it aside for a minute. And then here we've got all the accessories and literature underneath, designed by Apple in California. Go ahead and remove that. So we'll set that stuff aside. Now this is new this year. This is an 18 watt charger and they come with the iPhone 11 Pros. And I do believe it's the same charger that comes with the iPad Pros, the USB-C version. So that's kind of nice. And now with the new USB-C charger, they do include a lightning to USB-C cable. So we'll just set all this stuff aside here and we'll take a look at the phone. So here's the phone here. So yeah, really nice. I'm already getting fingerprints all over it. I guess that's to be expected. Uh, you can see here now they have a nice stainless steel finish on the Pro models. Now I was really hoping for a USB-C connection. Now during the keynote, Apple talked about that this is the first phone that they thought deserved the name Pro. You would have thought that they would have maybe included the USB-C like the iPad Pros, but that'll probably be next year. You can see on the back here we have the new camera setup. We have the wide, the ultra wide, and telephoto. That's really interesting, and I think I'm going to really enjoy having that camera. The other nice thing, too, if you watch the keynote where they introduced the iPhone 11 Pro, they had the company Filmic on stage, and they showed off how that uh, a new version of Filmic that's going to be coming this fall can actually record two streams of video at once. You can pick what two cameras you want to record from. You can do any of the three on the back or even the one on the front. So for me, as a content creator, you know, that might come in really handy. If I have this mounted and I'm filming, I could actually film with the wide angle and then also film with maybe the telephoto. That allows me to get in a close-up shot if I need to really show something off. So that uh, will be interesting when that comes out. Of course, we've got an updated front camera. It's now capable of recording in 4K 24 frames per second, 30 frames per second, and at 60 frames per second. So that's going to come in really handy too for some situations as well. So the first thing we're going to have to do is put in the SIM card. We'll just pop that out there. Now pop it in and we will power it on. So there we go, we're gonna select English. I'll go down and I will select Canada. I'm gonna use the quick start to get it going. So all we have to do is bring an old iPhone with all our information on it. And uh, there you can see that it's come up right away. We'll hit continue. Now we just have to line up the code, just like that. And now it's going to uh, transfer over all the information. So now I'll just let all that transfer over. Now I did pick up a new case for the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And um, 
I've always gone with the silicone cases by Apple. I really like them. Um, I have had one for every generation of phone that I've had since the iPhone 7, I believe. They do a good job at protecting it. I have actually dropped my phone I don't know how many times, and I haven't had any damage yet to it. So uh, we'll get into that too just before we go here. Now the other thing I picked up here is a screen protector. This is going to be the very first time I put a screen protector on my phone. I actually don't like having them on there because you can see the outline of it and it just kind of irritates me. Sometimes they get a little rough around the edges. I do have a couple significant scratches on my 10s Max and I want to kind of avoid that for the new phone. We're pretty well done here, so now it's going to ask me to set up my Face ID, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. So that's all set up. Hit continue. Now I do believe this is new this year, maybe I'm wrong, uh, but now you can actually transfer all your files and everything over from your old phone. I'm not going to do that here, I'm just going to set this up as a new phone and restore it from an iTunes backup afterwards. I backed my old phone up uh, this morning, so I'm going to do that later. So if you don't want to transfer everything directly, you can go to other options. So then I'm just going to put uh, don't transfer apps and data. And like I said, I'll just do a backup manually later on. Now, when it comes to updates, I like to do them manually. So I'm going to put install updates manually. For Apple Pay, I'm going to set that up later in my wallet. Don't share. We'll select standard zoom level. It's kind of giving us some basic uh, instructions on how to navigate through the iPhone. And there we go. It's all set up. Now, just quickly before we go, let's take a look at the iPhone case from Apple. This is their silicone version. Now, don't let the silicone uh, throw you off. It's actually a very rigid case. Um, it's not like one of those cheap rubber cases you get at a dollar store. Um, it's actually a really nice case, nicely designed, good quality. Like I said, I've had many of these for every iPhone that I've owned, and I've always been extremely happy with them. And it has a nice soft interior so you don't get scratches on your phone. And we'll just put that in there just like that. Of course, now we got to get all the fingerprints off of it because just cannot have that. So there you go. That is the iPhone 11 Pro Max. And uh, you can see it here inside the case. Now, just before I go here, a couple of the reasons I decided to upgrade. First off, it has a larger battery. You can get an extra five hours usage out of it. Now, that does come at a price. They did make the phone a little bit thicker. Uh, but personally, myself, I would rather take a little bit thicker of a phone and have longer battery life. Uh, it is a little bit heavier maybe, but really it's not noticeable compared to the old one. The other thing that they've done, which is really important, is they've increased the brightness of the screen. The iPhone XS Max had a sustained brightness of 625 nits, I believe, whereas the new iPhone 11 Pro has a sustained brightness of 800 nits, and it can get all the way up to a brightness of 1200 nits, depending on what you're doing. For me, that's also important because I fly a lot of drones, and having a brighter screen allows you to see what you're filming on brighter days a lot easier. So that is a definite plus as well. And not to mention the new A13 Bionic, just that extra processing power when editing video definitely will come in handy. Well folks, that's basically it for my unboxing video of the iPhone 11 Pro Max. I have the new Apple Watch Series 5 coming later today. I will be doing an unboxing of it tomorrow on my YouTube channel. So definitely if you're interested in that, stick around. Make sure you subscribe so you don't miss it. I want to thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And like I said, don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you in the next one. Thank you.